the young people really can play a critical role in the electoral process in any country, but especially in the DRC, where they comprise more than half of the population. I held a group of meetings with young people um, from Congo over the last several months, some through DVC, some in person, as I did during this trip. And it is clear that uh, the economic conditions, the social conditions, the human rights issues, gender equality, peace and stability, these are all issues that they care about and that matter to them. Um, they talk and they engage in issues that have to do with sexual violence, with child soldiers, with high unemployment. Uh, and they also realize that they are bearing the brunt uh, of uh, sort of the, or, or the disproportionate brunt of the suffering that DRC has uh, been engaging in, especially in the East. Um, we have encouraged policymakers to actively engage with youth so that their voice can be heard. And we've asked the youth, my conversations with them are mostly focused on what are you doing in relation to these elections? Um, are you voting? Are you becoming more informed about the elections? Are you organizing other youth? Um, what are the tools that you are using that are available to you that can allow you to engage more and more young people in civic engagement, particularly in this area? Um, we need to remind ourselves that the youth can be very important political agents in their country. We have seen that just recently uh, in, uh, through the Arab Spring. Uh, certainly in uh, the Congo, their vote can be enormously important. So we should continue working to engage them more, to find ways to communicate with them, and to help them um, understand how that, uh, some of those tools that they use in their everyday life, such as the social media, can become important tools here. 